will define the beginning of this series. Those opening picks convert team fight win rate. I mean, it, it, it skyrockets when you get them. He's going in a little bit deep, gets in behind that Arisa barrier, but is unable to find a pick. Jay Hall gonna be falling low, and Johnny's not up for the moment, but still. Okay for now. Charges up another rocket punch. They pull them together with a hole. He's trying to get that execution on Toby in the back line. He's not able to do it, but they keep them very low. Dangerously slow, but cannot quite find the finishing blow. Now Jay Hall getting that coalescence first. Offset one instantly is able to hose down Jano. Taking him out. The barrier's not enough to save the Sigma. Not gonna do anything against his ultimate. But Oxo, he's looking to bring this one back into their favor. Takes out two. As Plata will also fall. Twilight with the coalescence of his own finds another kill. It seems like the Vancouver Titans, despite losing two off the start, will be able to turn this around to the back of Hoxel's heroics. And Hoxel is playing around the sides, preventing what's going to be coming out from both. Down barriers are in, keeping them safe. Janu goes back behind the Arisa barrier, puts his next one up. Death Blossom comes in from Sum and Sue. Falls a bit low, but the orbs are there to keep him topped up. Death Blossom finds one, but the follow up left clicks come in. No walls of Necklid there for that rocket punch. He's looking to line up another one. Goes out with a meteor strike before he gets frozen. Dropping into the back. So Mitsu is there as well. They're looking to get the finish on the marble. They're able to do so with the help of Twilight. With that orb, we're into overtime as Fitz drops down. Knocks the enemy Sigma away, and the Dynasty will be able to get the flip, but how long can they hold this for? Doesn't seem like very long. The Coalescence is out. Not going to be able to find the punch there on Twilight. Can't execute that Boyera. Supercharger going to be finished off. Fitz trying to line up the punch there on the Hoxel, but he's just a bit too elusive, so cannot do so. Titans taking their time on the approach here, though. It would seem. Yeah, and they're starting to get some getting some ground here. John is about to have Gravitic Flux. Look at Summon Sue on the flank here as well. And he put that one up very rapidly. Michelle's already been taken down. Now Jay Hall going to be eliminated. Got it. Not going to be able to find too much with that Gravitic Flux as Plata takes down Tizzy. Fitz goes into the back, finds Slime. Knocking him into the wall, getting rid of that enemy Lucio. So a lot of healing now going to be taken away. But they lose out on Flood of Damage. He's in there. They don't have the last ability with that Wrecking Ball. Now it's just going to be about knocking Fitz off the point. They've managed to do so. Toby is finished. And Blossom coming through as Fitz gets executed, and that will be the OT taking away 138%. You know, it was the reason why Nero had so much trouble in our play-ins. We'll see if after scouting this, he swaps over to the McCree once again to shut this down. Hoxall here over onto the side, tries to get a poop off with that concussive blast, is unable to find it. Barriers, just negating a lot of that rocket damage. He finds a nice angle there around the corner. Summonsu goes forward, manages the kick down too. Turns out Summonsu also has a pretty good doom fist, but now it's going to be taken down. Toby finally manages to finish that off, but it's the cost of three members on the side of the Soul Dynasty, so it seems like Titans is still going to be destined to pick up this first cap here on guard, and Pile Driver from Tizzy will just finish off Plata. And that will be Seal on the deal. They get the finish as Hoxall pushes up so very aggressively, he knows that no one can take him out of the skies right now, so Plata will be swapping him with three. See, he's just not able to get the impact he's looking for. And if he goes out there, he's going to be Wrecking Ball, uh, you know, kind of dry right yeah. in his face. Well, Pitts does find one. Flashbang in. They stun up Tizzy, and they manage to burn him down. What about him killing Blow? Barrage already going to be used there by Hawk, so finishes off one. Jado tries to drag things back into their favor by eliminating one of its own who will be taken down. Self-Destruct is used. Jano will not be allowed to read back in the Self-Destruct. Blast finds nothing, so the flip comes in this time a bit earlier for the Soul Dynasty. That pile driver coming in, Tizzy stunned up again as Flutter gets left on. They're trying to finish him off, but so many Sue. He's the one paying the iron price. The two over aggressive didn't have the follow ups. So they cannot get rid of the cowboy. It's Flutter. That nice shot there on a hog song. Now looks to take Slime out of the sky. He's got no one to float to, so we'll just be going off the side of the map. Long way away. Yeah. It's waiting around the side. Goes in with the seismic slam. That's going to be Twilight disappearing. Marvel up into the air. Looks like that accretion, but lands on top of Tizzy's barrier. Hoxall going to be taken out. Plata pops the dead eye, but Wall is up to block him, but does not matter. Just rolls forward, gets the kills. A couple ultimates used there for the side of the Soul Dynasty, but still holding on to both support ultimates as well as a meteor strike. Summons, this fight is everything for Ben for Titan. Summons who needs a pick. I'm just going to be going straight back into the action now. Coalescence out from Jayhawk. Fitz taken down, but now Hoxall and both could be disappearing. The sound barrier comes in. From Toby, stacking up the support ultimates, shielding up his teammates, making sure they stay safe. Meteor Strike comes down from Somitsu. Gets the uppercut kill on the flood, but they need a lot more than that. OT starting to take away Titans. Get their way back over on the point, at least for now. Marvel, however, gets rid of Tizzy, and the OT starts bleeding away again. Somitsu, he's by himself, he's on the point, he's looking for some kills. Hoxel rejoins, swapped over onto the Reaper, the barriers just keep greeting him right up into his face. He will be finished off. OT ticks down, and that will be a third round coming up on Lijiang Tower Control Center to settle who will get map one. See the jump forward there with the teleporter from both teams. Rising that's a match, and oh boy, Tizzy already cut off, but 
does not get taken down. No one able to push forward and capitalize on top of that Orisa. So does just manage to kind of for his way around the corner. And stay safe for the rest of his team. Freezing goes in. That's going to be Pitts hitting the ground now. Take it out. Twilight finds the first kill. Fla going low, forces the ice block. But Vancouver Titans come out on top of the initial fight. Very clean this time around, not trading anything back. Just taking them down, getting that first cap coming through any moment now. And Soul just doesn't have anything they can do about that. They have to react when he jumps down. Lessons is ready. Fate gonna be burned there by Twilight. Tries to throw out the orb, but it's too late. A creature from Marvel takes out Janu. Uppercut there from Hoxel, however. Really limits the healing on the side of the Soul Dynasty. And make sure that Jamal can not use his coalescence in the fight. You know, on the attack, it's so hard to make that happen when Vancouver has this mutual advantage. Unless it's out, Tizzy, getting punched there for the moment. Fortify coming a little bit too late, it's already been displaced. Now Uppercut goes through and Fitz takes down Hoxall. A very crucial pick for the side of the Soul Dynasty as the Gravitic Flux has come out from both teams. Barriers are there though, and it seems like it will be the Soul Dynasty able to come out on top of this fight. Two members still gonna be gone to the side of the Titans. Now a third as Twilight goes down as well. Giant stunned up and finished off. Dynasty will get this flip. 76% here for the Titans. Well, they're opening the fight right now. Titans pushing back more. They don't want to waste any time. They don't want to get any percent over to the Soul Dynasty. They just want this flip and they want to finish off this round. So Coalescence to lead in onto the point. They managed to pick off two. And they still have a sound barrier as well as a Death Blossom now to hold this point as they get that flip ready to come back in. Is that the clean up the remaining members here on the point? Toby will be taken down. That'll be the flip back into their favor. And Vancouver Titans very well able to close out Lijong Tower on this first map. Death Blossom defensively set up here for Summon Sue. Oh, he's right into the back! Blossom comes down to Death Blossom, denies that one away in Marvel. Eliminated as well. You know when you're playing against the Titans, you gotta check your corners. Doesn't matter if Bumper's not in the game. Summon Sue takes one right out of his butt. They shut him down. Control Center and Lijong Tower goes away. The Vancouver Titans starting things off here on the road. Can't knock up the Bastion, so still need people to capitalize. Jump on top of him and finish him off. Deflection in the phase of the Bastion can be absolutely huge. As we see Michelle taking a little bit of damage, Marvel. Trying to go in, was stunned up there for a moment. Drop down comes in, J-Hulk chunked out, Hoxall. Gonna find that killing blow, is unable to do so. So far, Dynasty un unable to make their way over onto the point, really. They tagged it for a moment, but they have to play this one out very patiently. It's very meticulous to try to break this composition. Yeah, Marvel just trying to slide through here, do some extra damage to set up for those dash resets. It's not going to happen on this fight, unfortunately. But they were kind of caught in an awkward position where they needed to reset here, so you know, can't really blame Soul Dynasty for kind of rolling in, grabbing some ult charge, and getting out. Yeah, I mean, they do manage to find one as Twilight gets taken down, but he's going to have the fate. He can join it rather quickly. And they're going to commit to the mine. Yeah. Yeah. Mile Driver coming in. Mine takes out two. Summon two. Obliterated. And Slime got finished off. They managed to find the rest of Toby on the planet, but he instantly gets taken down by Hawksaw. Well, they're on the point right now. So we can tick. Might be game. Summon two over onto the side, over by the spawn. Kept alive for the moment. They will be using that Amateur, but it's not a view of the point right now. Nano. Nano. But he's here on the fence. He doesn't have the blade yet. I need that one. Finally finds it. First swipe takes out Janu, but now he gets pushed up into the air, brought back down to the ground. Will be sustained. Michelle gonna be knocked out of the mech by that Gravitic Flux from Janu, and Summon Sue taken out by the Barrage, but Hoxel swiftly answers back, finds a kill, avenging Flutter now taking down Fitz. No damage on the side of the Soul Dynasty remaining, and Marvel with a sliver of HP just trying to roll his way out the back. So many ultimates used. Marvel goes in, Pile Driver again out. Fitz comes back through with the Doom Fist, gets a nice punch there as the wall comes up from Hoxel. Is he gonna be taking a nap for the moment? Turrets out into the back. He gets some hits there on Michelle. Hoxall knocked up into the air. Will be eliminated, but Slime finds him as he tries to exit. No way to bring him back into the fight, but Slime picks up another one. Now Flutter gonna be gone. Rez comes out from Toby. Something struck in. Gets rid of Jono. They have a good one now, but you know they eventually wore them down over time, but it cost them a lot of the time bank. Yeah. Had to wait a little bit. Oh man, major size to slam there from Hoxall. Already at 33%. Can you hear that nano boost coming through J-Hawk? Defends that one as Fitz goes in. Meteor Strike ready, he's looking for a target. Drops down at Twilight, his fate was an off um, cooldown, will be eliminated, but they quickly answer back and manage to punish that Doom Fist. Will be a trade on those two. Still a trade up for the side of the Soul Dynasty, as Soul Summons is gonna be displaced off that high ground and swiftly finished off. Are advancing now, Dynasty making decent time. And there's gonna be a moment here where Vancouver Titans could try to set up, and Twilight's about to have coalescence, so this should be a winning fight for the Vancouver Titans. Ooh. That's, uh, well, yep. maybe it won't be a fight at all. From downtown, Janu and Slime both come up with a hit. Jay Hall eliminated, now Fitz gonna be gone. So 
don't have to use this Gravitic Flux. They're gonna trade, take them down underneath a minute. Always have to keep in mind that Force. Marvel's about to have his own Gravitic Flux, but he's not there yet. And the Titans get to take this fight on their terms now. Coalesce is so the used. Round. Gravitic Flux now gonna be used. Catches two, pulls him up into the air, drops him back down. Marvel with a sub of HP. Absorbing a lot. Will be able to stay alive. Absolutely huge having that one off cooldown, otherwise he certainly would have been taken out. Push around, Summon Suit trying to play on that right side flank as is Hogstall. Charges up the punch, he's looking for the hit, finds Splutter, gets rid of that barrier. But he's still gonna be safe for the moment. Hogstall pushed over to the side by the answering rocket, punch out from Fitz, goes up with the Meteor Strike, drops right back down here, over onto the cart. Looking to see if he can exit. Constantly trying to match against Fitz. Splutter goes in, however, Death Blossom takes down the Supercharger, gets rid of Hogstall, he cleans up Tizzy! That will be the extended wipe as Slime will be eliminated. Hoxo coming back through here to stagger, get some shields on this Doomfist to buy time. Tizzy swapping already to the Rhine. Coalescence is out. Push them back, try to ensure that this finish comes in in overtime. Right, just gonna hold on here. 30 seconds remaining, Cart starting to roll back now. Soul wants to operate around for Mythic Flux, that's why Marvel's ranking right now. He's trying to get the final 10% of this charge right now. That's all they're gonna have with the Coalescence for this next fight. 20 seconds to go, one chance to complete this map. Coalescence is out, Hoxo. for the kill. Punch goes in, now the punch coming through. Big one is caught up in See, pushing forward, they got the double barrier set up. Punch coming in, but Immortality Field is there to keep him safe. Michelle gonna have to drop down, but he won't be given the opportunity. Let's get finished off. So Minsu just hunts for his next target. And this is really hard to break once you get up here and you have the barriers in place to block the Bastion. Ooh, nice. Concussive blast there from so Hoxaw. Incredible. I mean, if that did not go through, he would have been a dead man. Now, Flutter getting jumped on, manages to find the killing blow, and Slime gonna be finished off as well. Janu will be able to get Flutter, but now Janu gonna be taken down by Fitz. So despite the Bastion setup coming in, other side of the point, Fitz goes in, Barrage comes down from Hoxaw, and Marvel's gonna disappear. Deadeye gonna be used by Flutter around the side, playing up the street, but doesn't manage to find any kills. Sleep shot, however, from j Hulk takes down. So I'm in soup, but they can't kill him off yet. That immortality field kept him alive for a little bit longer, but it's an absolute brawl on the point right now. So I'm in trying to stay alive, but his Toby. self healing is not enough. Toby finds a kill, and Fitz is just wreaking havoc with his doom fist. Jonu, not gonna stand a chance. Incredible delays from Toby to try to keep this point alive. They only lose 62% of it. This is huge. Not even two ticks, we're down to a minute and a half of eight. Someone needs to touch the point though. Some genetic flux gonna be used there into the high ground. The sound barrier comes through from Toby, manages to catch straight, trying to keep him alive, but Jonu, with that accretion, manages the final one. Answering Gravitic Flux from Marvel, finds one. Now Twilight take it down. Marvel finds a third with the accretion. Will be cut down. Tizzy manages to find the kill, but now Hawks all gonna be finished off by Fitz, and Tizzy is left alone on the board. He's getting pocketed back up as slowly as they possibly can. Slime tries to keep him alive, and then pistols down Michelle. Tries to get the oh, rest, but Toby rest. comes in, knocks him away with the poop, and Slime cannot make it out with his life. This is Toby, so huge. The boom god strikes back. Toby stops the res, and that is massive. So near OT finish from the side of the Soul Dynasty here on point A. They draw them off that high ground. Flutter trying to stay alive. Drops that biotic field to get healed up. Hoxel already gonna be gone. Michelle manages to find the kill, and Janu's down a half in that back. So Minsu falling low, but gets rid of Marvel. Meteor Strike into the back, and Slime! He disappears for the uppercut. Fits with his lower HP, will be taken down. They manage to find the kill. That's Twilight, now Michelle eliminated. Pull them together. They find the final blows. That is a team wipe. That is a man for Titan. Getting point A here in overtime. Fitz going in early, doesn't hit the rocket punch here. Oh, Hoxel going in deep. Will be kept alive as Summon Sue as well, trying to hound them down in the back lines. Has that Wraith walk, will get topped up, just dodging around the cart, making sure that he's not going to get hosed down by that Coalescence. So will remain safe. Lost him now. Into the back, and oh man, shut down instantly. Fitz was ready for it. Rocket Punch comes in. Good night. And follows up. Now Slime going to be eliminated as well. Jump into the back, looks for the uppercut kill. Fitz is waiting around the back. Gravitic Flux comes in, Coalescence out from Twilight, but he doesn't get to use much of it! Instantly gets taken down. It's gonna be stunned up there for the moment, but still goes in aggressively, pops that Meteor Strike to say safe, drops down. Gets that passive shielding through. They will hold them here for now. Vancouver Titans, 40 seconds remaining on the clock. They have the Gravitic Flux, they nearly have a Supercharger, yeah, and, I mean, but look at Dynasty! Dynasty down on Ultimates, and Dynasty's gonna have to start it off. 
Barrier comes up. He sees Sweda up there. They have a decent idea that he's ready. He said he's going to be popping the cowboy up into the air with the gravitic flux, but Marvel just snipes him out of the sky. Absolutely huge. Now Plata still just able to sit back, has that added damage from the supercharger. Nearly gets pulled off the high ground, but has a great angle. The shield's not enough. Over time, going to be forced out here. They do manage to find that one, but the flashbang goes in. Hawksall goes down. Coalescence now out from Twilight, desperately trying to keep his team alive, but Slime is going to be eliminated. Tizzy swaps over onto the Reinhardt, He's trying to get back to the point in time, as is Janu with a Wrecking Ball. Twilight flying a little bit, as much as he possibly can, but Janu is going to be finished off. And that should be it. OT going to start bleeding away. They cannot make their way to the point. Soul Dynasty holds Vancouver Titans in front of point B. More of the Titans ramping their way around down below. Slime, first one over to the point. Johnny does get stunned up there for the moment. Hawksall trying to find an execution, but can't quite nail it. They're on the point, though. One tick nearly grabbed. It's a nice hit there on the Marvel. He's going to be absorbing a bit. Trying to keep himself safe. It does stay alive. Push back there on a Michelle. They're keeping the Dynasty gated off the point for now. And now the punch goes in. Spitz goes low, but Summon Sue going to be taken down. And Plata manages to find Hawksall. So no damage dealers left on the side of the Titans. As Jonna will as well get cleaned up. So one tick going to be snatched by the Titans, but they will be held off and will have to reset. Things are looking like they may go from bad to worse here for the Titans if this push doesn't find something. Huxle, one of the players who could set up that opening pick. For the punch, we'll get moved back. Meteor Strike's ready to go and everyone just kind of bottled up on the stairwell. Drops down and Fitz finds a triple kill! Oh boy, knocks him out of the park! Janu, Slime, and Tizzy all gonna be gone. The perfect setup was there. They capitalized. Dynasty, go again. Forbidden Flux to use on that same choke. Janu's only just over halfway there. And the back cap coming through to Somensu. Second tick will be snatched. Forbidden Flux is ready. Catches Janu alone. Marvel pushes right up into his face. Has that high ground approach. Just one more melee. And he does take him down. The rest of the Titans falling in the meantime. Didn't even need the focus from Marvel. They're gonna have to probably use Sound Barrier early in this fight, which means Toby can trade up. And yep. use it second. Jump into the back. Hawksall looking for a kill. J-Hulk going to be run down as that Coalescence comes through. But Marvel with the accretion managed to find something soon. Now Dizzy going to be eliminated. The sound barrier comes in a bit too late. Got him. Uses that Gravitic Flux but doesn't find any kills. The Meteor Strike only gets one. Twilight finds another on his shell. But it's still going to be the cleanup there from the Soul Dynasty. Back coming again. They're getting three percentage here from Somensu. They get up to 81.8%. Barrier gonna be broken down, Michelle gonna be left vulnerable, but Summonsu already uses the right block. Tries to use that death block, Summons gets stunned up, he doesn't find any kills! Hawks only finds Toby, but it's at the cost of now three! Marvel gonna be taken down, but summonsu has got no HP, he's gonna be killed off in the back line, and that is a wipe! That's it! 81.8%! They manage to tag in for just a moment, but it's slime by himself, they clean him up, and OT will tick away! Death wall's gonna be coming up, cuts off several members on the side of the Titans, so they have to boost their way over the top. Immortality field comes in, and Summonsu and Janu will be frozen, but as they thaw, so Minsu will be able to find three. Michelle takes a lot of damage, so the healing orb comes out. Not the greatest wall here, actually. Everybody walks away. Yeah, they're just going to be free rounding around the side. Now the coalescence comes down. Got them all caught up in a channel, and so Minsu's the first one to be eliminated. Now Jano going to be gone. And this might be it. That's all it takes. Everything unraveling for the Titans here on this defense. The near wipe as Twilight barely survives for a little bit longer using that passive healing from the coalescence. But they will clean them up. They will take the point. And that will be Soul Dynasty taking a lead 2-1 to one in this set. What a great turnaround here for Soul Dynasty. And then also Michelle playing main tank instead of off tank. Yeah. Selling two on the Orisa. Blurring the lines between those two roles it would seem. But oh man, Fitz getting caught just, in front, just above that card. Oxal has the setup for the punch. Looks for another one as Michelle does get taken low. So far a very strong start for the Vancouver Titans on this push. Trying to finish off a few stragglers here in the back. Jayhawk will be taken down in the end. You know, we can't blame Jonu for having less damage in this situation. There's one punch to shoot. Well, that is because Hoxel's been the one really fun in the picks. Finds another one there on a fence, taking him down yet again. Hart nearly rolled into A. Marvel playing down low here, but he's by himself, and now Fleta is going to be eliminated, so a lot of pressure alleviated for the side of the Titans. And it will just be a very cleanly one fight. Talk a lot about how these first eliminations with Doomfist can be deadly. They can win you team fights. Hoxel, oh Again. man. Yeah, Hoxel's in your back line. He's on your flank. He's got a fist. And he is absolutely slapping the members of the Soul Dynasty. Seismic Slam and Fitz trying to match as desperately as he can, but Hoxel is just cleaning up house right now. I mean, shots go through. Jay Hong goes down. The cart will continue to glide. 
Says Sims drop back down, but here comes the death blossom through a bomb and J-Hope take it out as he uses a coalescence marvel. Manages to pick up the pieces there, fights one kill, but it's just not enough. Another cleanly one fighting Vancouver Titans. Summon Sue back on this Reaper, he's gonna stay with it. And just try to slowly push it forward. Here's the flux. Butter Mark on man, Jado gonna be looking to match. Finds another two members. Drops him back down as the sound barriers come out from both teams. Cannot find the accretion hit there on the fit, so he makes his way out with the meteor strike, drops back down, and sends him the kill onto the tank line. Vancouver Titans. Now well, suffering as Summon Sue tries to make his way out play form. Yep, look at this flank. He's CP oh, yeah. team. Look at Blonde, that Blossom goes through. Can't quite find the kills. Forces out the Meteor Strike, so Hoxel can escape. He'll drop back down. It's still get stunned by the Christian, but they can't finish him off yet. The Coalescence out from Twilight. Dueling with Jayhawk. Both of these warriors able to keep their teammates alive, but Twilight will fall in the end. Hope's going out. Hoxel manages to find one, trying to get back on a flood up. Jayhawk just spamming out with a left click. Still got plenty of juice here for the boy up. Those right clicks in, weaving them through to make sure they can constantly heal his teammates. But he can't do that when Hoxel comes up with another rocket punch, takes him down. Another hit here. Michelle popped up into the air. The fortify not enough to help keep him alive. Will be taken out. Yeah, he's right outside. Death Blossom goes through, and it is just a slaughter. Somitsu comes up with a triple, the supercharger to boot. Medic Flux used there on the card, forcing them back. Meteor strike out from Fitz, but he'll be knocked away. And it's just two and a half meters left to go. They get the kill onto the enemy, too. Hey, Jay Hulk's back. Right here. Jay Hulk does come in, but he disappears just as quickly as he arrives. Hoxel finishes him off again. Fox comes through, manages to find Hoxel up in the air. He hits the ground, but is kept alive by the coalescence. They clean up Michelle as he goes down with the pile driver. But applying a little bit more with the race form, but that will expire. There's one after the other streaming forward on. They have an angle. They won't already be using the freeze. Summon to take it down. Immortality field not there to save him. Was used. Doesn't keep him alive. They still managed to find two, however, but it's going to be a very long run back for Summit Sue, so I think you just have to abandon the Bastion after this. Hits, hits the ground, will be taken out. So still a one fight for the Vancouver Titans, and Summit Sue will swap over onto the Reaper and try to rejoin more quickly. Yeah, I... I... And if he gets in behind the barrier, it's easy pickings for him. Coalescence out, as is the Ant Matrix for Sly. The Mortality Field is going to be keeping the Titans alive for the moment. They continue to push forward. Mortality Field now going to be taken down. If Oxal can get a Blizzard here, I mean, this is looking really good for them. And Tizzy eliminated. The Vinic Flex goes through, and Jonu will be taken down by that. So solid start now for the Soul Dynasty coming back in for the next fight. A very extended one. They get a bit of time. Flex, flex first. Yeah, not going to be able to find anything with that one. So big whip. Sound barrier is still going to come through for the Soul Dynasty, as is the Supercharger. Blizzard going to be tossed down on top. Clean up that Arisa ult first and foremost. And now look for the kills. Are you allowed to use that sound barrier? He'll be able to rejoin very quickly if the rest of the team can hold them off. The coalescence is out. Now Jay Hall going to be matching with one of his own. But then Flux comes in, manages to find one. I believe Marvel going to be knocked up into the air. But the sound barriers are from Toby to keep everybody else alive. And Hoxel is going to be taken out as Flutter. Manages to find a double kill. But there you go. Grisha thrown forward. Sobitsu capitalizes. Meteor Strike finds Michelle. And Marvel taking him down. No tanks down. A, a DPS and the healers. Their HP bars in shambles. Seems like this will be the whole for the side of the Vancouver Titans if they tie us up two to two, and they do just that. Soul Dynasty with this bloodthirsty attitude. Of That's the only one they had to use again. It's going to be a stairwell opportunity for the Doom Fist. They're making their way out. Drop down comes through, gets the hit, nearly assassinates Marvel. Can't quite finish him off, but oh boy, dodges out that accretion with a Meteor Strike. Sound Barrier comes in, so knows that the execution potential of that Meteor Strike not quite going to be there, but so Mitsu, he's in the back of the Death Blossom, and he picks up a triple kill. For Soul Dynasty to win this round. Got it. That accretion is done. Can't quite get it. Absorbs a lot of damage. Two members, now three going to be taken out on the side of the Titans. A bit of damage here on the high ground, now going to be dropping in. Death Blossom going to be there. Barriers come out, trying to keep everybody else alive, but Michelle comes up with two. John and Hawks are both going to be eliminated. The OT ticking away. It barely made the tag in. Summon Sue goes down with one of his own, a Death Blossom of his own. Unable to find anything with that Death Blossom. Shield's now going to be expiring as they get slammed to the ground. Grecian and Michelle finished off the tank line, broke it down. Vancouver Titans look to take this second round on Busan, 100-0, now at 91%. Meteor Strike nearly online, looks for the punch there, onto the Wrecking Ball, finds it, and gets the kill, goes up with the Meteor Strike, drops down, looking for J-Hawk, he is already gone, oh no, it's okay, <laughs> uppercut, back in with a seismic slam, a little bit risky there, Hawk, so, but either way, would have still been a round of victory.
Man, uppercut to sending John way up into the air with that Gravitic Flux rolling. Doesn't find anything on the back of it, and already down two members are the Titans. Tizzy as well, going to be taken down. Komatsu eliminated, that will be the Team Wipe. Extend coming through onto the Titans. The flip finally there for this whole dynasty. To set up the defensive fight, then they can sweep in. Tizzy is coming out already, Fitz gonna be gone. Hawks it's a better move again as the Death Blossom comes in. Marvel doing his best to try to mitigate that damage, but it is just going to be a very swift wipe in the hands of the Vancouver Titans. Back in control, surging up towards 100%, looking to take the lead 3-2 to two in this series and be it met. The DPS ones especially. Slimes back. Supercharger taken out. Massive seismic slam gets a punch. The isolation on Michelle. Can he finish him off? The answer is going to be yes. Hoxel fights it. Sound barrier dropped in from Slime as they push forward. We're cut in. It's going to be trying to retreat. So as that Meteor Strike as an emergency escape, should he need to use it, but it's going to have to be another reset for the Dynasty. They're down under a minute remaining. Punch in. Fitz looks for the kill, unable to find him. Soften up Tizzy there for the moment. Hawksaw has to use the Meteor Strike. Now Fitz going to be using his own. Drops into the back. That Blossom is out. Hawksaw finds one. Summon Sue gets Michelle and Flood is going to be gone. It's a two for three in favor of the Titans with 20 seconds remaining. His members of the Dynasty are still falling down. Vancouver Titans looking to end it right here. They do not want another map seven the Soul Dynasty. They want to close this out nice and clean on Eichenball. But it can set this one up to be absolutely huge. Immortality Field going to be taken down. The Barrage comes in. Looking for a target. But it's still hovering there in the air. But it's the Titans who are very much coming out on top. And it seems like that will be it. The Team Wipe coming through as Flutter gets taken down. One tick. All they need and the Titans have it. They close out this first playoff series versus the Soul Dynasty and will be advancing. It's not over yet for Soul though. They will be moving down into the lower bracket. And the first time in over a year, Tizzy stands up as a winner